Hello and welcome. We open up the show, reach the top of the hour, and invite you all into our session here today. You can see on your screen you've reached the Northwestern Kellogg Executive Education Program informational webinar on the upcoming program Professional Certificate in Sales. Accelerate your sales career in five months online. We're going to be touching on two key themes here today. You're going to learn all about this program, the curriculum, those learning objectives, and what you can expect from week to week across your time in the program. Uh, the other piece that we're going to be talking about today is the learning experience. So how is this program delivered to ensure that you have the very best experience possible? Uh, so a lot in store here today as we discover the what and the how of this program. Um, but before we get started, I'm going to hand over the mic here in just a moment to our uh, program faculty and the designer of this professional certificate who's here to tell us all about it. I have the great honor and privilege of introducing our two keynote speakers here today. Uh, firstly, we have Professor Craig Wortman, who's a clinical professor of innovation and entrepreneurship at the Kellogg School of Management. And he's also the academic director of the Kellogg Sales Institute. Uh, professor Wortman, would you like to jump in and say hello? I would, Marie. Thanks so much for leading us off, as always. Hello, everyone. We are so glad that you are here and joining our community. Marie said it so well. This is an incredibly vibrant community that we're building week by week, month by month. So we are so excited for you to be a part of this. And for uh, and, and thank you for letting us share what we've built here and, and hoping you can join us. Thank you, Professor Wortman, for being here. That's just a taste of what's to come. We're going to hear a lot more from Professor Wortman here in just a moment. You can see here he's joined by Claire Walker, who's the director of the Kellogg Sales Institute. Uh, Claire is going to take us away through the next section of our agenda here today. Uh, Claire, thank you for being with us. I'm going to hand over the spotlight to you now. Thanks so much, Marie. What a fun group so far. I always have a blast talking about this course. It is something that we threw our hearts, bodies, souls, minds mm -hmm. into with the hope that you would take the journey alongside with us. It All of that work is on behalf of you, for you to take it on and for you to transform into a seller that is both, if we skip ahead, Marie, we aimed to build Kellogg Sales School to create sellers who are both magnetic and unstoppable. And this, this says it all. You know, I So Craig started his sales journey at IBM roughly 35 <laughs> years, <laughs> some time ago. A couple weeks ago. <laughs> And when he did that, he was put through a program at IBM where metaphorically he was dipped in blue. Mm. It was a year long sales school all about how to show up as an IBM seller, sell the IBM way. <clears throat> Those types so of sales cool. schools are fewer and far between than they were. And we couldn't find the sales school we wanted because you've learned so much since IBM and so we wanted to incorporate not just the, the transformative aspect of that experience, but build upon the decades of research, the decades of teaching, mm -hmm. and what we know about the knowledge, skill, and discipline it takes to become a magnetic and unstoppable seller. So we built that course, and we're going to talk about it today. We can't wait. Can't wait. So what sets this program apart? First of all, this program is going to, we're going to dive in to the necessary mindset of what it takes to show up and day in, day out, decide that you are going to learn, that you are going to grow, that you are going to do whatever it takes to help your clients, your teammates, your community make progress. And it's not, we don't only just talk about mindset as a seller that's required to be a high performing seller. We talk about the mindset that's required to perform in this course. We fully recognize that this is a massive investment of your time. And maybe it's been a long time since you were in the student seat. So we talk, we give you as many tips and tricks to succeed as a learner, as a student in this course. There's a whole mindset you need to adopt around that as well. Next, we don't leave it at the level of philosophy. We don't make it theoretical. We break it down into the granular knowledge, skill, and discipline. We label every move. We give you the words to say. We give you the tools to help you build them so you can say them in a way that makes sense for you, that is authentic to who you are. So it is incredibly tactical and practical. So well said and exactly right. Thank you. Thank you. And next, 
you will have the opportunity along your journey to build a personal sales toolkit. I mean, we have 50 tools over, over 50 tools that you will, that you will create that, that what Claire says is so right that you'll create and you will codify the moves, the expert moves of selling the knowledge, skill, and discipline, create those into tools, put them in your metaphorical toolbox, and they never leave that toolbox. They're always with you. And the amazing thing about that is that is the first step in taking the lessons you learn from passive to active. When you learn what you've learned and you feel so excited, and then you transform it in onto paper, into those tool worksheets, make it your own. That is the beginning of your activation journey as you build the muscle that is required to be a high performing seller. So you have these tools with you. They will make a difference right away. They will also make a difference as Craig noted 25 years down the road. These are your tools to keep these prompts uh, that live within the tools will serve you now. They will serve you 25 years from now. Um, and additionally, we can't step, step away from this slide without noting you don't just hear from Craig, right? Craig called He sounded the horn for this. Yeah, we really did. And it's funny because we, we, this last piece, these world renowned researchers, athletes, former CEOs, authors, thought leaders of every stripe. We reached out to our, our to our community we got over two dozen interviews with these amazing people and just ask them all kinds of interesting questions about this field of sales and how to excel both in sales and in life and can hardly wait to share them with you. It was one of the most fun we had is, is really working hard to develop our vision of the course, but then getting all these thought leaders in to, to lend us their wisdom because we're still learning as well, just like you are. So fascinating, uh, fascinating for us to be able to, to share those with you. Absolutely. And I think one thing to, one thing to think about this as you go in is that if you were to attend a conference where you had 24 speakers of the caliber that we have brought to this course, it would cost probably three times oh my gosh. the cost, the price of this course. So if you were to fly somewhere, stay in a conference center, uh, you know, and have your meals, hear from all of these people, the, the richness that they bring, the wide variety of perspectives that they bring, I mean, you'd probably be paying somewhere close to 19K. Well, and it's, and it's just one part of the course. Oh, I mean, that's what's yeah. so fun about this. So, all right. So if this is your first experience with the Kellogg School of Management, we know it's not Deepak because Deepak is an alum himself. But for those of you who are who are just uh, dipping into this, dipping your toe in to the amazing broad community that is the Kellogg School of Management, I want to take a moment just to touch upon what makes Kellogg's executive ed education experience ap stand apart from the rest of the potential options out there. One thing to note, and I I really want to hammer down on this. We do not have separate teachers for our MBA or our degree seeking students and our professional learners in the executive education space. The same professors who are teaching our students and sending them out into the world are teaching to you. So there's no differentiation. They are bringing their latest research, research, the newest books they've read, the most fresh perspectives to you, the learner. Um, and there's, we have, made sure that there's so much opportunity for you to connect with each other because learning from each other is is just as important leaving with a connection among yourselves claire i should also say here when we talked a moment ago about the guest speakers one of the things we were very conscious of is reaching out to my fellow faculty members and getting the most popular professors at kellogg in these interviews so we wanted to share just because you're not at kellogg walking around this building that doesn't mean you can't access the top Kellogg faculty. So we actually brought a bunch of them to you through these video interviews and they are amazing. And that's the word for it. You know, what's probably funny is that our students have bid points and they have a certain <laughs> amount of bid points that they can bid to get certain classes. And they probably don't have enough bid points to have taken class with all of these professors who oh, they, show up in this course. They don't. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. you're getting an experience that some people with a Kellogg degree might not end up with. That is true. All right. So within the Kellogg ecosystem, there is the Kellogg Sales Institute. We, um, we lured Craig from a school on the other side of Chicago, Chicago where, booth. He, where he had been teaching for 10 years and had a 
very popular course that he built called Entrepreneurial Selling. It was named by Inc. Magazine as one of the top 10 uh, MBA courses in the country. And we said, hey, you live down the street from campus here. Why don't you come teach here? And Kellogg is going to commit itself to be the first elite business school that recognizes sales as the thing that drives all revenue generation. It is an academic discipline. It is not a trade. We are going to put our stamp. We want to be the place where all of the all of the individuals and sales teams of the world come for best in class sales learning. That is our aim at the Kellogg Sales Institute. It was formed in 2017. We you know Kellogg for its uh, dynamism in marketing, finance, entrepreneurship. We want to extend that reputation into the world of sales because nothing happens until something gets sold. Yeah. And as you can see here, when we came to, when I came to Kellogg and we founded the Kellogg Sales Institute, one of the first questions we had to answer was, what is the definition of sales? What, is, what does this thing actually mean? Which is very strange if you stop and think about it. And what we came, what we have come to believe is sales is about helping people make progress in their lives, period. And everything we do, this entire course, all of my MBA and executive MBA teaching spring from that definition. We think it's a very strong, positive, and powerful message to send to the world. And this course is designed, wrapped right around that definition. So that's something we'll explore together in the, in the course ev all the way throughout. Absolutely. I, the mindset of a seller is steeped in that definition of sales. And that is what we teach throughout. You know, we, we want to elevate the profession of sales. You can't do that without this definition. We are, we feel so strongly about it. All right, let's move to the next, because here I'm going to embarrass Craig and oh, talk gosh. all about him because you are going to spend a lot of time with him in this course. And You've got to know why he's the guy to teach you this stuff. You know, what makes him the person? You've heard that he's taught MBA students for going on 15 years, but maybe more important than his ability to break down research and process uh, into a really exciting course is the fact that Craig is a seller. He sells day in, day out. This is not, he, he's not standing on that, you know, proverbial ivory tower. He's, he's down on the ground with you. He's got deals stuck just like you do. <laughs> he's got to show up and present in a way that stands apart from his competitors. He has to acknowledge what knowledge, skill, and discipline he's working on mm. and get feedback on that, make feedback alliances. And these are all things that you are going to work on in the course. You'll learn about all of those concepts. You will work about the uh, work on uh, you will work on those things right alongside him. So that's just something about Craig. It's, it's my biggest takeaway. This is someone who is a seller side by side, shoulder to shoulder with you. I'm, I'm a learner too. I mean, you and yes. I, what oh, I love gosh. about Claire is we, we are both, you know, we're standing side by side. We are often metaphorically side by side trying to learn something. So we are constantly looking at what is the world telling us about the state of sales? Where is this profession going? I can tell you a little hint. One of the reasons we created this course is this: the sales profession is growing, exploding. The opportunities are unbelievable for people that know how to do this. And it's, it's actually why we built the Kellogg Sales Institute, uh, why I came here to found this, because the elite business schools are waking up to the fact that one of the best career options for people to have an unbelievable life is to get great at sales. And so that's that's why we're here. And this is why we've done everything um, that we've built into this course. And so Marie, let's let's jump in if if, if we can. Can I jump into the absolutely into the to the program overview? One of the things there, there's there's a lot of takeaways here. And so you know when you showed up today that this is big, right? This is a big uh, commitment of your time, your money, your resources, your mind share. And we are super thankful for that. In return, there are tremendous takeaways. We don't want to just create, help you transform yourself into an elite seller. We actually are very bold about this. We're very ambitious. We want to help you transform your life by transforming your relationships with everyone around you, including your sales prospects and clients and your businesses. But 
when we stop and think about it, when we actually open the lid to sales and we look inside and see what sales actually is, it's persuasion, it's influence, it's power. And I mean that in the best sense of the term, it's authority. It is being the person in every room who is the go-to person, the most interesting person in every room. That's actually what it is. It's trust. It's trust. It is authenticity. It is brand. And all of these things, when Claire and our partners and I sat down to build this course, we put all of that on the table because we designed the sales school that we never had. And I've been so, as Claire mentioned, so lucky to be part of companies like IBM. We do lots of consulting work for the world's top companies. If you think of the top top three companies in the world, we work with them. So these are, these are companies that we are learning alongside and helping them shape their approach to sales and building sales schools. And so we wanted to get this out to you in the market. So the, the, the takeaways here are a bunch and I'm only gonna hit the treetops here, but Claire mentioned this really powerful phrase that we use every day in everything we do, which is we stand on a powerful, you and I and Claire and everyone stand on a very simple and powerful foundation of three things, knowledge, skill, and discipline. It is the foundation of all of my MBA and executive MBA teaching, everything I do inside and outside of the business school and this course. It is the DNA of this course. So what you'll be able to do is, is it, it, as you go through this course and at the end and for the rest of your career, you will combine these powerful elements of knowledge, skill, and discipline into a, if, you, if I can use a metaphor, you weave these threads into a very strong rope or a cable. Or another metaphor would be you stand on these pillars and you grow them ever higher such that you are never without the right move in the right situation. If you're in a difficult conversation, you know how to handle that. If you have to create a feedback alliance with a coach, you know how to do that. If you have to handle an objection in front of a client, you know how to do that. If you have to pre present or tell your story, you know exactly how to do that. Why? Because we've broken down the knowledge, skill, and discipline into its granular component parts and then put it back together in a tool. Yeah, you not only know how to do it, you know what good looks like. Mm. And I really want to highlight this third takeaway because one thing we teach you how to do in this course, and my gosh, what a valuable thing. We teach you how to practice. We teach you how to set a goal for any, any fa facet of your life and practice in a way that will make you much more likely to achieve that goal. You know, this, I, we really wanted to build something that went way beyond sales and really helped you be better in all areas of your life. That is one of them. Yeah, it really is. And, and this can't be understated. It, it may sound strange in, a, in, a, in an informational webinar to say this, but if you want to get better at chess, if you want to get better at sports, if you want to get better at parenting or being in a relationship with someone, you want to get better at shifting your career, making a career shift. It's all about knowledge, skill, and discipline persuasion, influence, trust, in other words, sales, right? So these are the things that we've built in. These are the program takeaways. Claire mentioned mindset, practice, preparation, tools, all of those things. We build module by module, episode by episode through 18 episodes. So let's take a look at those now. If we look at the different episodes as we go through this, the, 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 the program is really, the, each of those episodes and modules is this course is designed for early, for people who are either early into the sales profession or just into the sales profession and for people who are shifting their career. So these might be, um, we have lots of people that come to my executive MBA courses. I start one this weekend. Many of those people are a little bit older, but they're thinking about how do I use this course to shift my career? I want to make more money. I want to do more interesting things. I want to build a business. I want to shift my career. That's who this program is for. In addition to people that say, you know, the sales career sounds really interesting and a lot of fun. And I'm kind of the entrepreneur of my own life. I want to get great at this. That's who this program is for. You can see the numbers. These numbers keep getting better because companies are realizing the world over that the landscape is getting more competitive. And when the landscape gets more competitive, guess what you need? You need people that know how to tell the story. Those are people known as salespeople. We are the front line. We're the ones that build the sales engines, the revenue engines of businesses all over the world. 
And it is the, the people that are, what we say in the business school, the people that are closest to the revenue line are the ones that will be the most highly rewarded, regarded, respected. Those are the people, right? And, the, and the, these are, the, this is us. And so you can see the numbers. The numbers get really compelling really fast. And one thing I want to say, you know, 346,000, that is a ton of jobs. Just in the U.S. Just in the U.S. Yeah. So how do you, we, what, one thing we dive into and in, all along this course is how do you get that job? And then once you land in that job, how do you set yourself apart and make an impact from day one? Yep. So of that 346,000, how do you show up as the best, the top of that 346,000? How do you get the job that you want and how do you show up, stand out and break through from day one? And we should say, Claire, this program is, is different and constructed differently than another sales, very popular sales program we have with our par amazing partners at Emeritus called Kellogg Mastering Sales. That course has similar DNA to this course, but it is positioned for mid-career executives who have been in sales for a while. This one is much more for people that are curious about sales, want to get into this profession, or want to make a career switch, or are thinking about transforming an entrepreneurial business to build the revenue engine. So, that, so we want to be just clear about what that is. Let's look at this course, and let's look at the program topics as we go through. As we've been saying, we talked about the modules, or sometimes I call them episodes, uh, kind of like a, a, a Netflix series. Uh, we, we actually designed that. We designed the experience, the look and feel of this kind of around that. So Claire told us a little while ago, suggested that not only does this course, is this course the sales school that we wish we'd had, one of the things it does is really prepare us to learn, prepare us to squeeze all of the, the juice out of this course or any course, any learning experience. And so we call module one ready to go. We look at mindset. We look at the research on cutting edge research on studying and learning. And yes, there is cutting edge research on studying and learning stuff that's been around for you know, a thousand years. We look at that and we get you prepared to be the best learner that you know. So we we taught and we, then we start to break down these these critical pillars of knowledge, skill, and discipline, and those are evident in every single one of the eighteen modules. But module run one does a lot of work just getting us ready to go. Then we turn to module two, where we really define the profession of sales. What is this thing? Why is it so cool? Why is it so fun? Why do salespeople typically have the most fun in the business, but also make the most impact? Why is that? And how did we not know this profession before, right? This is the coolest thing ever. So we talk about sales as progress. We talk about the, be the world's best known sales processes and what we like about all of those. We define our own sales process that we use at the Kellogg Sales School. It's called the entrepreneurial sales process. And it's something that we now own. We, we, we sort of brought it to the world about 15 years ago when I first started teaching this and it's just caught fire. And it's, it is, um, the course is wrapped around that, that entrepreneurial selling process that you can apply to any aspect of your life. The way I think about module two is that it's really a deep dive into the language that you will be expected to know mm. as a seller. You know, we, the last thing we want is for you to have an abundant amount of knowledge, skill, and discipline, and then be caught off guard by a commonly used sales term in an interview. So this, this is a knowledge heavy module, but it really equips you to be able to speak the language of sales with confidence, really understand the ecosystem of the sales function. So great. So well said, Claire. And thank you. I would have left that out. That's so important. Module three, episode three, then takes us into what Claire was talking about a few minutes ago, which is practice. There's a specific form of practice that um, there's a lot of research emerging. It's absolutely the, some of the most interesting stuff that we get to talk about, we get to learn and study. It's called deliberate practice. We call it getting good at getting great at anything. And the reason we do this in module three, just as this course, just as you're hitting your stride in this course, is because once you've got module three, you can literally get good at getting great at anything, including the rest of this course. So Marie, if we head into modules four, five, and six and, 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 and beyond, what you'll see is now we start to get into the entrepreneurial selling process. How do we plan to win? The world's best, most elite sellers are the most prepared. 
Okay, well, that's easy to say, but what does that actually mean? And so we really think about stakeholder mapping. We think about how do we get um, an elevator pitch or what we call a sales trailer ready to go at a moment's notice. One of the words you'll hear me say over and over in this course is be ready, be ready. Because the world's elite sellers are ready for anything. If they have an hour meeting and they arrive to that meeting and now they only have five minutes, no problem. We're ready. We can name that tune in five minutes. This course will get you ready for any eventuality that you come across, up to and including angry customers and everything in between. Module five teaches you how to network. One of the most popular things I get to do at the business school here is teach our students how to network, which is really interesting because they arrive here thinking, I know how to network. They are networked. And we break it down into its component parts. And it's always surprising to them. They're like, I never thought about it that way. And so we get a lot of email, and a lot of notes from students in this course saying, I'm so glad I actually now know how to look at a room or a Zoom full of people and be the one that people walk away remembering from that networking event. That's what module five is all about. Then we started getting into the tough stuff. And I always sort of laugh and smile when I say this, but proactive pursuit um, the world over for sales forces, no matter what culture and country you're from or company you're from, proactive pursuit is finding leads. It is generating business. It's the very tip of the spear. How do I find Claire such that I can bring her into this conversation and figure out very quickly whether I can help her make progress in her life or not? And maybe if I, if I find that I can't help her make progress, then the next thing I do is I suggest three other resources for her that will do a better job than I can. That's called helping people make progress in their life. But in order to have that conversation with Claire, I got to find Claire. I got to find Marie. I got to find Deepak. I got to find Luis, right? I got to find uh, Murtaza. I got to find all of you. And that's hard. And we're not going to paint that any other color. It's hard. Module six is just hard stuff. But if you learn how to do that, you are unstoppable. You're unstoppable. And we break it down again into its component parts. Module seven, and then it continues. And we're, we're sort of nearing the middle of the course, if you will, the middle of the experience here. Module seven is another thing that we do very frequently at the business school. We teach people how to run high impact meetings. This may sound like one of the most dry topics in the course. I assure you it is the opposite. I assure you that when you get to module seven, you will be surprised by what, how, how deep this goes and how great you can be in meetings. Such that, such that you're detecting a theme now, I think. Your customer gets to the end of his or her week and amongst the 30 meetings that he or she had that week, yours is the one that stands out. Folks, this is a theme. Claire said early, we, sh we don't show up as sellers, we show up we stand out and we break through in every room, in every Zoom, in every hour of every day. This is in every single module. Module seven is one of my favorites because what we teach, it's so skill and discipline heavy and especially discipline heavy. And what we teach in module seven, no one would call it rocket science. No. No, it is not. This is not, it, a lot of it is deeply common sense. That being said, how many bad meetings do you sit through? How many poorly run meetings do you sit through where you come away from it? You don't know what is expected of you. You don't know what the timeline is, so on and so forth. You can, there can be a, a, a branded way of running your meetings such that when you put a meeting on someone's calendar, they are excited because they know that it is going to be well run and they're going to know exactly what to do as a result of that meeting. Things will, progress will be made. So it's not rocket science, but man, so many people are not adopting these disciplines that just by being the person who makes that choice. And it's, it's, it's just surprising. I mean, it's, it's surprisingly exciting. That's the word. And you just don't equate meetings with excitement ever. We're going to change. We're going to change your. We're going to try to change your mindset on that. Now, now you're running high impact meetings. You found. You've done your hard work of proactive pursuit. You're generating meetings. Now let's talk about what happens within those meetings, such that you are the most interesting person in any room. What happens is you're equipped with the right questions, but questions is a big term. There's lots of different types of questions. We break them apart. 
There are questions, connection questions that do certain jobs for you. There are impact questions that do different jobs for you. There are all kinds of questions. We use module eight to break those down and then put them back together in conversation. Module nine, another thing that's happening in your meetings, your presentations, your lives, you're telling your best stories. You're telling the right story at the right time for the right reason. It turns out, and you'll hear me say this in module nine, we now know from research that stories, the ability to tell the right story at the right time for the right reason is your most powerful tool of influence. It's why in this course, we designed it very deliberately to slow down right in the middle of this course we slow down into story. If it isn't true that its story is your most powerful tool of influence, we actually gave it some very, very deep and broad coverage here in this course. It's that important, such that you become collectors of this of stories as you go progress through this course and you become both magnetic and unstoppable in telling your stories. Now, another form of meeting where you're gonna tell your stories, ask questions, craft and design these beautiful conversations is in presentations, just another form of meeting. Usually you're on stage, and I don't mean that literally, but you're standing at the front of the room or you're on Zoom like this and you're talking, looking at the camera and talking to people and trying to pull them in magnetically towards you and convince them and inspire them to do something, persuade and influence them. How might you present with panache? Panache means dashing style, spirited self-confidence. So we break that down into its component parts and equip you with tools to present like a pro. And then module 12 really starts to talk about, okay, once you've started to do all, started to do all this stuff really well, and you're getting good at getting great at these things, how do you build the tools that allow you to make decisions around showing up, standing out and breaking through? How do you do that within your company? How do you do that with your clients? When you're team selling, Claire and I do this almost every day of every week. We're team selling a, cl- a large client for Kellogg, trying to big a, bring a large client into the, into the business school. We team sell. Well, that's a different thing. Now I'm not on my own or Claire's not on her own. Now we're a team. So now we have to play different roles. We break that down in module 12 and really show you what we call the team selling for impact framework and all of the requisite knowledge, skill, and discipline you need to show up as an elite team. We start to turn the page again, we're heading towards the last turns of the track in modules 13 and beyond. And really 13 is about, okay, you're getting closer to the end of your, what we call the contact phase of your sales, your entrepreneurial selling process. Now a couple of things are happening. You're negotiating and you're closing. And I wanna harken back one more time to our guest star lineup we interviewed a friend and colleague and fellow Kellogg faculty member called Dr. Vicki Medvek. And she is one of the world's foremost experts in negotiation. And she leads us through how to think about negotiating. And this can apply to a job search, negotiating an interview, negotiating a salary package, negotiating a date, negotiating a deal. All of those things are wrapped into module 13. Buying a house, buying a car, all All of those things. things. Absolutely. We also talk about some of the best practices around proposing. Yes. Doing, building a proposal. We know that that is a part of most people's sales motion. And we talk about the mistakes, the common traps people fall into, you know, one of them being holding price back until the end versus the expert moves of building a proposal, reiterating along the way, making your customers feel ownership of that proposal. So as Vicky would say, it's not if they're going to do business with you, it's how they're going to do business with you. Love that. Then module four, fifth, uh, 14 and 15. This is one of the things of many things that make this course very, very different from both other courses on the market and even our own other course on the market. This is a dive. These are deep dives. We brought in two amazing specialists that along with me, so the three of us, we teach different tracks. So you can go modules 14 and 15 with me and really learn how to build a small business. So that's entrepreneurial selling. It's a specialty of mine since I'm a three-time entrepreneur. You can join uh, our, our colleague Tess and really talk about selling in healthcare. She's a healthcare expert. She's actually a professor in the field and a very accomplished seller in healthcare and an amazing person. Or you can join our colleague Scott and talk about selling technology. He's been with Google and other companies. He is an amazing uh, person and teacher. 
but he's also like Tess and myself and Claire, he's a doer. He actually does sales all day long. Yes. He's the director of sales for Google cloud here in Chicago. He's, I mean, so if there's an amazing person, yeah, both of them. Yeah. Truly. So you can't go wrong. So, but it's a choose your journey. So this makes this course very, very different because here you are in this, this intense um, Kellogg sales school, the sales school we wish we would have had, but now you get to drop in and really specialize in the middle, you know, towards the, the latter third of the course. Then modules 16, 17, and 18, you probably won't find in any other sales course anywhere in the world. And we say that very boldly. One of the things we think about because we teach executive MBAs and MBAs and we teach the, we get to teach the world's strongest and most powerful corporations and their sales forces. I mean, these are some of our clients, folks have 15,000 sellers and 1,200 managers managing those 15,000 sellers. So we are very lucky to get to do this work. The reason I mention those is one of the things we know is sales, sales can be a hard job. There can be days and weeks which are just hard. And so what does that mean? Well, we have to have resilience. We have to have what Angela Duckworth calls grit, what we call discipline. And that, that requires that we have to generate our own positive energy. We have to become our own power plant. And so we went off and actually did the research on, on positive energy and where that comes from. And we access the world's best researchers that we put together a module that is quite popular now here at the business school and outside that we've embedded in this course called generating positive energy. How do you get it? How do you find it? How do you keep it? How do you grow it? All of those things making you the unstoppable part of magnetic and unstoppable. Yeah. And why does it matter? How does being positive affect your sales, affect your um, access to promotions and growth opportunities? I'll tell you now, it it, a whole lot. It really, I mean, so we break that down. We also talk about Craig, how, when you are determined to be a positive influence for your sales team, we introduce a new sales tool that turns any situation, a win or a loss into a learning opportunity. So it's something that you can give your sales team that you can embed within the sales culture of your organization. And we just heard a story recently about someone who used this tool and it turned a lost deal into a $20 million gain. Yeah, it's unbelievably powerful. Um, what's so fun about energy too is it, there's a lot of research that is still just emerging. So we're actually learning in real time about this. So it's really fun to share it with you. Another thing you won't find in usually in any other course around the world that has sales in the title is your personal brand. You know, we, I go all the way back to the beginning the entrepreneurial selling process, that word entrepreneurial is in there for a reason. We are the entrepreneurs of our own lives. I want every single person, myself, Claire, everyone, you all to think about yourself, whether you're in a big business or a small business or not in business at all, as the, as the entrepreneur of your own life, you make the decisions, you set the vision, you figure out what to do day to day. And what that means is you should also think of yourself as a brand. You are a personal brand. And one of the things we know a heck of a lot about at the Kellogg School, and now I'm bragging about our school, is we know about branding. We are the world's experts on marketing and branding. And so what we've done is brought this, but in a personalized way, to you in this course. How do you develop your personal brand? What does that actually mean? What are the edges of your brand? What are the promises your brand makes? And we look at that throughout. And then, this will not surprise you, we put it all together. You are building a 50-plus toolkit through this whole journey that will be, as my friend Claire taught me, these two words I love when she says both, or three words, I guess, that it is both that toolkit is both evergreen and immediately applicable, meaning you can use that toolkit this afternoon or tomorrow or this morning, and you can use it 10 years from now, 20 years from now, and you'll continue to sharpen those tools and make them more useful to you. So that's the journey. That was a sprint through a five-month journey that you will have with us uh, day by day, week by week. We've mentioned a bunch of these things, but these things we think, these big building blocks really combine to form something very, very special. And remember what all of this stands upon. We are one of the world's most powerful and elite business schools. It stands on what we know to be true about how adults learn and the research on influence and persuasion. We think those things together and all of the things we just talked about make this course very, very different from what, what else is available out there. Absolutely.
So that's the experience. That was a, uh, that felt like a dash. That was a dash, <laughs> dash for the experience. Marie, back to you. Thank you, uh, Craig. Thank you, Claire. If I can put you both on the spot here and just ask a question that's come through the chat. And before we go to the next slide, the next slide, we're going to talk about the learning experience. We're going to talk about how this program is deliver delivered. So you'll get that tangible understanding um, about the value of this program versus some of the other educational opportunities that are out there. So, for example, week-long seminars. Uh, Claire, you mentioned at the beginning what that might look like. Uh, what, in terms of the curriculum, really sets this program apart? If you had to kind of sum it up put it into a nutshell, what is different about this program versus some of these other opportunities uh, that exist on the market? Yeah, I'll, I'll take a shot at that and Claire, you jump in. So Marie, this is a really great question and it's, it's the right question to be asking as you're thinking about investing in something like this. I'm gonna give two thoughts. The first one is there's a lot out there. And the first thing you need to know is what's right for you. We are about helping people make progress in their lives. This course may not, may not be a perfect fit for you. Depending on how your life is structured, the time you can commit to this, a day-long or week-long seminar might be just the thing. So that's the first thing I want to say is know thyself, which is how much time can you commit to this and then decide, okay, of the time I can commit to, to, to getting good at getting great at sales and, and transforming my life. How much, how much am I willing to commit? How much financial resource am I willing to commit? And then line this course up with all those others and make the best choice possible. So that's the first thing. The second thing I want to say is, you know, this course was designed to be a transformative experience. I live in a business school. Our job is to, is to help transform people's lives and create the world's next business leaders. I mean, that is quite literally my job. And I work hard at that every day and I love every minute of it. So that DNA is inside this course. And folks, I'm going to be just very blunt with you all. That's huge. It's big. It's bold. And once again, you may decide that's just too bold. That's too much for me. I'd rather just take a day-long seminar in sales and sort of get good at a piece of sales and call it a day. There is nothing wrong with that. I've done that myself throughout my career. There's nothing wrong with that. What this is, is like an MBA this will stick with you for the rest of your life. It, it, it just will. It's designed to do that. It's why it's intensive. It's why it's big. It's why it's bold and very, very ambitious. It's why we bought, brought more than two dozen thought leaders from around the world to this party, because that's what we do at the business school. Our job is to expose you to the deep richness of influence and persuasion. We call it sales and the thought leadership and research that surrounds that in an elite MBA type experience. But you have to want that. That's that has to be, you know, front and center for your your consideration at this point in your life and your career. One thing I want to say is, if you are taking on a new role, if you enter into onto a sales team and maybe it's your first sales role, if they give you an orientation around your role and what you should be doing, most times the large focus is going to be on product or solution knowledge. They want you to know the ins and outs of what you're selling. It's less about how to sell, how to make progress in your partner's lives. How to be. Yes. And so this is, in our estimation, the sales school that every seller at every company should go through because then you can layer on the highly necessary product or solution knowledge. You bet. But you, but to come into this, you will have such an incredible advantage over people who just do the three-day orientation that's designed by their company. Um, and so for sales teams who take this together, on just absolutely unstoppable. Marie, if I can just add one more thought, Claire just made me think of, that's really important. We realize you all that we're making some very big and bold, ambitious claims here. We don't do that empty-handed. You know, we stand here before you with hundreds of emails, what we call activation stories, where people have reached out to us, like this $20 million deal that we just learned one of our students got from a loss using the tools, knowledge, skill, and discipline of, of this course. So you know, look, we, we, we hope that you decide to do this with us. Obviously, you've got to be ready for that, ready for the journey. So be ready for an MBA-like experience. But if you do choose that, we have lots and lots of experiences from fellow students and fellow travelers that, that would indicate that 
if you take this journey, you will never be without. You'll never be without a job. You'll never be without an interview. You'll never be without customers. You'll never be without revenue. All right. Thank you so much, Professor Wortman and Claire. I know you both are going to stay with us um, until the end of our sessions. But firstly, thank you to you both. It's been an absolute honor learning more about this program from each of you. Um, let's go ahead and dive into that learning experience. You've set this up really nicely as you talk about some of those frameworks and methodologies uh, really aimed at helping you to bring theory and concepts into a place of action in order to create transformational change, change that you can, um, as, as Claire has coined the term, um, evergreen and immediately actionable. So let's see how that comes to life here in the program. Uh, you can see firstly here, uh, uh, this is an overview of, of those tangible components, that day-to-day -day experience, um, all built around a pedagogical approach, um, again, that's helping you to bring to life your learning in real time at your own pace and on the go. Um, so we do this around an approach called bite-sized learning, which allows you to explore an entire week's worth of content um, by watching brief video segments uh, and then stepping away from your learning and really rolling up your sleeves and tinkering with the knowledge that you've gained uh, through a variety of different exercises and activities. So I see a question in the, in the chat, um, are we going to be role-playing? So there's a lot coming at me. Am I going to be able to practice my knowledge? And that that is a huge, huge part of what you'll be doing here in the program. There are discussions, case studies, um, there are peer learning and feedback opportunities. Uh, we believe that that peer-to-peer -peer engagement is a huge boost to your learning. Not only can you see how these concepts come to life in your geography, in your industry, in your job function, um, but having that uh, peer cohort that you're learning shoulder to shoulder with and from allows you to get that broadened scope of understanding, that tapestry of ideas as you see these same concepts coming to life for them. So a lot of opportunity for you to engage with your peers. Um, you also have teaching uh, fellows, if you will, program leaders, course leaders, uh, who have been hand-selected to come into this program and guide you through every step of your journey. Um, so any of the assignments that you submit, you're going to have individualized feedback. Um, there are weekly office hours where you can come and get your questions answered, turn on your audio and video, and engage in live synchronous learning sessions with um, experts. Uh, so a lot in store here for you as you think about all the various activities um, from assessments to real world application of your knowledge, a very highly engaging and interactive uh, program experience together with the convenience of being able to learn on the go. Uh, so we've developed a nice blend of synchronous and asynchronous content, um, allowing you to touch into the program around a schedule that works for you. Uh, so this program was built for full time working professionals and is therefore designed to be flexible around your schedule and in your time zone. Uh, so we can talk through more about some of those logistical components um, in a moment here, um, but certainly a lot in store here for you with that capstone project, another big tangible takeaway here uh, from the program. Uh, you'll be able to access the program uh, from your mobile device or a tablet, and you'll have uh, access to the program for an entire year. So after you complete these um, episodes or modules, um, you'll have an entire year to touch back into the program, continue engaging with your peers, continue engaging with the course content. Um, all of this aimed at helping to get you ready uh, to launch or, uh, or build a career within sales. So a big part of your learning sort of secondary alongside the curriculum, there's sort of a hidden curriculum or a secondary curriculum to help you land or build your career, or land a job or build your career. Um, so throughout your time, you'll see there are exercises that are built into your assignments um, that are asking you to take part um, in some of these career preparation um, elements. So from crafting your elevator pitch to searching for sales roles that best match uh, your criteria, building your personal brand. It's a big part of what you'll be doing here in the program. It's also a big part of that career preparation component. Uh, you'll be navigating your job search, interview tips, all of this built in, um, and you're not on your own. So every step of the way, you'll have your course leader, your program leader right there with you, um, helping to guide you through the career process and get you ready for the job market. Uh, so you'll have that support. If you think about 
the various relationships that you'll build here in the program. Uh, you can think of yourself as the individual learner, and then you have your peers that you're learning together with and from. Uh, from there, you have your program leaders really at the helm of that day-to-day -day learning experience, helping to push your thinking and drive engagement in the program. Um, a layer beyond that, you have your, your course uh, designers here, Claire um, and Craig, who are at the helm of the curriculum, uh, really helping to guide the overall uh, uh, direction of the program. And then, of course, you have Northwestern Kellogg, this larger ecosystem that you're joining um, that is truly the world's best uh, when it comes to marketing and branding. So uh, certainly a lot in store here for you. All of this culminating in a chance to earn a certificate, a credential here from Northwestern Kellogg. And this is perhaps one of the biggest um, assets or returns on your investment here is a chance to showcase your learning, formalize your training, and earn a credential from Northwestern Kellogg. Uh, you can put this on your social media, bring it with you to your job interview, put it on your resume. Um, but certainly for those of you looking to advance um, into career um, uh, growth opportunities, you'll have that chance here uh, by earning this certificate. I wanted to pop in and say, you know, if we think about what Marie showed us about all of the additional, like apart from just the meat and content of the course, you get this career coach yeah. who's going to help you and, and if you think about the starting salary that we saw, the average starting salary and what you would pay for a personal career coach who could help you through all of that and, you know, a seminar and perspectives of all of this, you know, it's in to pay the this course fee in order to get the job that pays you that. I mean, to me, it's just such an, a, an enormous, amazing return on investment, not only just monetarily, but for yourself, you will, your relationships will be better as a result of this course. Yeah. And Marie, if I may, there's a question that popped into the Q&A. Thank you for asking this. The question is, does the course help in increasing your listening skills to understand exactly what the customer problem is and how you can capture the unspoken make or break factors? First of all, great question. The answer is yes. So we unpack the three levels of listening, how to go deeper and empathize and understand not just people's functional needs, but their social and emotional needs as well to unpack the make or break factors of any decision at any point in the decision process. We also talk about the types of questions. So there are different types of questions that will take you different places in that listening and conversation journey. So the short answer is you bet we get that. We hit that very, very hard. In fact, there's an entire module about that. Great question. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Craig, for jumping in there. Um, at this point, let's get you guys connected with a program advisor. We just have a few moments left here together, and we want to make sure you have an opportunity uh, to get connected with an advisor so you can speak through some of the next steps in that registration and enrollment process. Um, I see that some of you have asked questions in the question box. You've gotten an answer uh, via type text. We are joined live here today by our academic program advisors. They're here on the call with us today. Um, and if you'd like to get connected with an advisor, there are a couple of different channels for you to do that. Um, but your advisors are going to be that first relationship that you build here as you seek to prepare to begin this program and get your enrollment materials together. Uh, they are here with us live waiting to hear from you. Um, you can see in the chat box, there's a link that will take you right on over to our course enrollment page, which looks very similar to what you see here on your screen. Um, so uh, go on over to that course enrollment page. And if you click on that orange apply now button there, um, that is going to allow you to do two things. Uh, firstly, you'll be able to download the full course brochure, giving you all the details that we've described here today and more, uh, full faculty bios, uh, that full curriculum, that course schedule that's all contained within that brochure for you. Uh, the second thing you'll do um, after clicking on that orange button there um, is you'll have a chance to schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment using a Calendly app where you can select a time that works best for you in your time zone. Uh, you can schedule that appointment with one of our academic advisors to talk through uh, some of these preparation components as you seek to begin this program. And so use the link there in the chat. You can also use the email address there. That's catalog at emeritus.org. Uh, that will get you to our program advice as well. Um, and the third channel is to simply wait for copies of today's recording uh, to arrive in your inbox. You can reply all to that and let us know if you still need an advisor. Um, so please do uh, take a look at that, that link there in your chat if you haven't already picked that up. Um, but I'm going to stop sharing my screen now and turn over the spotlight uh, to our, our keynote speakers here for any final closing words of wisdom, words of advice uh, to folks who are seeking to join the program. Looks like we're going to start with you, Claire, um, and then we'll go over to you, Craig, next. 
I, I just want to echo what Craig said, that this is a transformative experience. That is what we intended. That is what we're hearing our, uh, for our students are getting out of it. And I, this stuff, I want to ask a question. I don't remember exactly what Dan Pink calls non-direct selling. Do you when Dan Pink, uh, one of the guests in our, and best-selling author, one of the guests in our course, wrote a book to sell as human. And he talks about how much of our day is spent in, in moving people in 40%, 40%. Yeah. And so, and moving people is one of the things ways he sa he says it, it's moving people. So while some things may not feel like a direct sale, you are influencing people in your internal meetings. You're in, you're looking to sell your boss on your new idea. You're looking to sell a friend on the latest show you just binge watched. There's so much to gain from being yeah. a high performing seller. So, um, I just, I can't, I obviously feel so energetic and joyful about this course. And I hope you do too. And I will just add, I hope you can join us. This has been um, a commitment of your time. Just this webinar. We hope that we've, we've persuaded you to, to at least take a deeper look and I hope to see you in the course. Cause I will see you there. But if not our best, to all of you, please continue to make progress in your life and we'll see you soon. Thanks all. Thanks, Marie. And thank you both for being here and staying all the way up through the end of our time to get those questions answered. An absolute honor learning from you both here today. And to all of you from around the globe, thank you as well. Um, it's been an absolute honor uh, learning shoulder to shoulder with each and every one of you. And we hope to see you back in the program very soon. Uh, with that, and for now, we sign off with a heartfelt good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good day to all of you from around the globe. Uh, we hope to see you back soon. Bye-bye.